Thank you. Great to be here. Burbank Comedy Festival, almost Glendale. We are here. This is awesome. Good. Uh, Native American in the house. Who else is ready to party like it's 1491? Who mean? Well, of course, Native American is the politically correct term. I prefer original landowner. Yeah, we don't believe we own the land. We are a timeshare people. Natives, 1% of the population, Burbank. I believe at one time we were 100% of the population. People find out you're native. They want to let you know, right? Oh, Mark, I'm part Indian too. You can tell by my high cheekbones. You wouldn't pull that shit on any other racial group. You wouldn't walk up to some Irish guy. Hey, I'm part Irish too. You can tell by my high blood alcohol content. And I always get the request, oh, Mark, could you share some ancient tribal wisdom? Like, I was born in East L.A. I just make shit up. Oh, uh, yes, ancient tribal wisdom, ancient tribal wisdom. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. Felt good to get out of the rain. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. Oh, man, it's nice to see people out getting festive and dressed as functioning as adults again. Thank you for putting on actual clothing in public. Holy shit, the first two years of COVID was the worst pajama party ever. <laughs> Fuck, every day was Walmart day in America during the height of COVID. You don't know what people are going to show up wearing. Honey, really, you're going to go to the store wearing high heels and a Snuggie? I'm wearing a mask. No one will recognize me. I actually saw this one guy. This guy was wearing hiking boots, swim trunks, dress shirt, bandana. I'm like, will you look at this idiot? It was my reflection in the Burger King window. <laughs> okay, COVID was exhausting. Alpha, Delta, Omicron, Omicron. I thought that was at Star Wars convention where the nerds dressed up as Chewbacca. And you couldn't even get an Omicron, uh, the COVID test during the height of Omicron last Christmas. We we're scouring, the stores were sold out. I finally found a COVID test at the dollar store. It came back positive and I was pregnant. <laughs> of course, COVID uh, helped uh, illustrate the great American divide, the blue states versus red states, Crips and Bloods. But depending on where you live, if you're in a blue state, COVID was the worst thing to hit us since the Black Plague of the 1300s. If you were in a red state, COVID was the worst hoax since Millie Vanilli. <laughs> Jesus, a blue states, lockdowns, they lasted weeks and months. Red states, they lasted two happy hours. <laughs> right, you would live in a blue state, people would wear COVID masks to a Zoom meeting. <laughs> like in a red state, they'd show up at Sam's Club, they refused to wear a mask and pants. They're fucking freedom! <laughs> The dining experience, red state versus blue state. Oh, shit. In a, red, in a blue state at the height of COVID, they, they made you sit at a fifth floor of a parking structure outdoors. They, they made you eat through an IV drip so you wouldn't open your mouth. <laughs> Florida, Texas, a red state, you had to eat indoors. They made you lick the menu and share utensils to prove you weren't a COVID co-conspirator. Probably nowhere was the COVID uh, divide worse than at 30,000 feet. Did anyone fly during COVID? Yeah. That, was fucking, that was a fucking craziness during COVID, right? You, you, and at first, remember the early, you get on a plane, people would freak out. They kept landing, make an emergency landing. They were dumping people off in Waco, Texas, and you know, Overland, Kansas. And get off the plane. Now, they said, screw that shit. The flight, they started changing the protocol. They started duct taping unruly passengers to their seat. Duct tape, that is cruel, unusual, and brilliant. <laughs> Did you guys know they had duct tape inside the plane? Look, I knew Spirit Airlines had duct tape on the outside of the plane. <laughs> Shit, I brought an extra roll just in case they ran low. I'm not missing a big gig in Pensacola, Florida at the Ha Ha Tata's Comedy Strip Club because Air Rage Alex didn't get enough pretzels. <laughs> I'll leave you with this. They want to actually, there's a proposal by the FAA. They want to actually weigh passengers in before boarding commercial flights. You shitting me? That's not even for safety. I think that's for fighting weight classification. 
Wait till you get on your next flight and hear this announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has removed the fasten seatbelt sign. Let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> Today, taking on the entire flight crew, three rows of passengers, <laughs> and his inner demons fighting out of basic economy class. <laughs> Wearing the orange Crocs, green pajama pants, and sleeveless Kid Rock t-shirt, <laughs> Danny Day Drinker Dominguez. Hey, you guys enjoy the rest of the show. I'm Mark Yaffe.